Hello, this is Teal Sky Heller with Team 907 Real Estate and Chuyak Eagle River Living, and we have the lovely Chantel. Take it away, Chantel. Chantel Smith, Team 907 Real Estate out of Signature, Alaska, and we have Michelle. Hello. So, Michelle, tell us who you are and what wonderful, incredible, awesome business you run here in Eagle River and own. Um, I'm Michelle Haynes. I am the proud owner of Picture This here in Eagle River. I took over the business after about 17 years of being the manager, uh, finally took over the business in 2017 and um, have made all kinds of changes. I think most people have seen the changes throughout the uh, years, um, but it's, it's so much fun and, and I'm so proud to call this business my own now. Awesome. So how are you? I mean, these are crazy times. Obviously, you're in the shop and no one else is there with you. Um, <laughs> How are you pivoting to meet the new normal here? Uh, well, with the help of my daughter, and since she's been unbelievably helpful, um, immediately got on to Shopify and created a website where we could have um, as much product as possible immediately to get onto the web. Um, basically, I don't want to say out of desperation, but out of absolute, we've got to do something because I'm not going to lay down and let this happen. So. Um, we worked hard all weekend long and got it back and we got it up on Sunday. She pitched me the idea on a Thursday, got it running up and running on Sunday and we're continually adding new things all the time, every day. And uh, it's, which has been challenging because I have to write down the information, take pictures, then I send it to her and then she posts. <laughs> so she's got all the programming, all of that kind of thing on her end. And so it's, it's been a, a real challenge. And, and my days are a lot longer than they used to because of all the different uh, technicalities that we have to work out. Yeah, so what is that website? It's picturethisalaska.shop. It goes out very quickly. Most people are getting their, their um, package within two, um, maximum three days. So it's been very effective because, you know, my, my daughter shoots me the, the, the message that you've got an order. I pull it immediately, get it packaged, pick up the labels, and it's off. That is awesome. So what about um, purchases for Easter? Obviously not enough time to ship. Do you have any options for people that want to do some last minute Easter shopping? I have done um, some over the phone orders where they call me directly at the store and I will walk through the store. I will send pictures back and forth. Um, with them um, and I have made some um, drive-by deliveries which has been able to you know, because unfortunately because we're considered non-essential we can't do the um, pickup um, but I have been able to deliver and usually that's in a box or a gift bag and and I drop it at the front door knock on the door wait for somebody to answer and then okay bye <laughs> <laughs> so it's, been, it's been a lot of fun though because I've been able to see some of my customers and it's really great to be able to put some faces to, and names together. So it's been a, a nice way to actually reach out to my customers as well. Um, I certainly can't drive to Wasilla or Palmer, um, but in, anything within probably, you know, the two to five miles of any river, I'd be willing to, to do that for them. That's awesome. There's a contest you have going on. Tell us about that. This has been a lot of fun. So I got this really great shipment of signs by a company called Second Nature by Hand. They are U.S. Um, and they have funny signs, snarky signs, um, religious signs, um, inspirational things, um, things that, you know, the, the recycled steel can actually be used as a memo board. Um, so they're, they're really fun. And so it's been, I, I thought, I'm going to throw these out and put them in my window. So as, if people are walking by, they might stop, get, make, you know, have a little smile on their face, think of us the next time they come through. And then I thought, hey, why not put a contest out there and see if anybody notices a change. So I decided to put it out there on Facebook and say, you know, post the pictures and then make one change, actually one completely different sign. Now, the trick has been I've actually changed the colors because most of the signs I got two colorways, one in white and one in the dark. So sometimes I just flip the sign. And so I've had people say, oh, is this the one? It's like, no, that's just a different color, still the same sign. And so, I'll change just one completely different one that's never been in the window before. And so that's been a lot of fun. Got some really crazy guesses. Um, and, but it's been a great way for connection. And I had one gal, she says, you know, I have my kids help me with this. It was so much fun. Thank you. 
and it's, it has, it's been a lot of fun. And, and, and like I said, today I had two people come up to the window and wave and, and uh, that's been <laughs> an amazing thing. Bless you. <laughs> it's not the Rona. <laughs> I just could not stop that. Well, so how do people chime in? Is it just on Facebook? Is that your main yes. um, platform? Yep. Okay. So everyone, if you're out driving, swing by the picture this window because there's a change. So your signs are sim. Is, is this the same brand? I mean, I bought this a yes. picture of this, but I'm not sure if it was the same line of yeah, signs. That's, but that's the same one. That's the same brand. Yep. I love my little just keep swimming sign. <laughs> Good reminder That's every day. One of my favorites. I think we might have that one coming again this fall. Oh, cool. Mm, cool. So, Michelle, what are you finding um, as the community is changing? Where are you finding kind of your your biggest encouragements from? Um, well, I have strong faith, and that's been really important. Um, but just that connection, especially when people make a phone call, and we chat for even a couple of minutes. Um, that has been such an encouragement because it's so nice to have that connection with my customers since I can't see them all the time to actually be able to talk with them and, and you know, kind of commiserate about certain things. Um, but I love I love helping when somebody says, like, hey, I just need a birthday gift. Here's the, the kind of theme I had in mind. Here's the dollar amount. Could you just create something? And it gives me such satisfaction to be able to have that connection that people trust me to be able to pick out some gifts or their loved one, um, and then having a great presentation with the packaging and, and the gift wrap. And, you know, that's, that's the small joys that I hope to give to other people as well. That's awesome. I have to admit, one of the, okay, so I love your stuff in general at the store, but usually the bottom line when I decide, like, where am I going to go buy a gift? I am horrible at gift wrapping. Like, <laughs> horrible. I don't know how I, that gene just skipped me. And so I frequently will be like, I don't care what it is. I'm going to picture this because it will get wrapped and it will look good. Thank <laughs> <laughs> with the idea of using that slo the slogan of, you know, we, we make you look good. Um, but then I thought, well, that's going to be confusing because then they think my, maybe we cut hair. <laughs> or Photoshop your pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But you do. You do. You make us as shoppers look good um, when we use your, not only with awesome products, but with the awesome wrapping. So I'm a huge fan. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Well, anything else, Chantel? Just thank you for taking the time to come on here and, and let everyone know how they can still support our local businesses. Tell everyone who may not know or knew where you're located. We all know. Because we have our monthly meetings right next door, or our weekly meetings right next door. Well, we're right next door to Jitters. Um, when I took over the business from Dennis, who was the former owner, um, that was a, one of the biggest questions that people kept asking. Are you going to keep the door between you um, open? It's like, well, yeah, I'd be foolish not to. Right. Um, you know, Dennis and I have been friends for a very long time. He was actually my sixth grade teacher at Homestead Elementary. And so, and I've been friends with the family for a very long time. So, I mean, the connection with Jitters has been really fabulous and, and really wonderful. And all I have to tell anybody is like, we're right next to Jitters. Like, oh yeah, I know where you are. So that's where we are. So if people want to join the, the game that you've got going on with pictures, is it Picture This Alaska? What's your Facebook page? It's Picture This Alaska. Okay. All right. Awesome. So everyone check out those signs in the window. And Michelle, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate this platform.